Relationship Advice Update I, male 24, found out my daughter isn't mine and I'm soon to wed my fiancé, 25 female. Original Story About a month ago, an old friend of my fiancé came and told me my daughter might not be mine, one year old. She told me Sarah, fiancé, fake name, confessed to her shortly after finding out she was pregnant, that it might not be mine because at the time, she had been sleeping with one other guy. Now that we are going to get married soon, she just couldn't keep this to herself and felt the need to tell me. Well, I obviously didn't take the news well, because everything she said contradicted the person I knew for five years, faithful, honest and loving. However, that doubt didn't go away and I ended up going through with a paternity test. I'm not her father. As you can imagine, it has broken my heart. I'm still coming to terms to the news. It explains why she suddenly got pregnant, despite the protection I was using. But I just assumed things happen and it is what it is, termination was out of the question. At this point, I'm not sure where to go in life. The wedding is two weeks away at this point, family is coming, everything is paid for, my daughter, who I love, turns out isn't mine at all, and I've been raising someone else's kid, I'm about to marry a woman who I can't bring myself to look at anymore. I'm at a loss. I'm not sure what advice Reddit can offer, but I don't know who else to turn to. Now for the top advice before reading the update. If I'm reading this correctly, you've been with your fiancé for 5 years, and you just found out that your 1 year old daughter isn't yours? So, 3.25 years into your relationship, your faithful, honest girlfriend was sleeping with someone else, and got pregnant, and hid how it happened from you, and let you believe the baby was yours all the way through the pregnancy and the first year? That is effed up. Capital F. There's no point going through with the wedding at this point. Even if you have lost a crap ton of money on a wedding that shouldn't happen, there's no reason to compound that with future financial losses to a pair of divorce lawyers. With a capital F. Tell everyone the truth, someone told you daughter might not be yours, you did a DNA test, you're not the father. It's the truth, don't shrink from it. You have nothing to be ashamed of here, deal with it head on. My advice is as others have given, stop the wedding. You're a very young man. Do not start your marriage under this huge lodge, this rotten deception by your fiancé. Your lady showed how she is prepared to use people, very cold. Your fiancé and her family will likely want another DNA test, quite understandable. I would cool my relationship with my fiancé until another DNA test is done, and end your relationship if the second test gives the same results. Sorry you got this slap in the face. Years from now, you'll likely see it as a blessing. Don't get married. 100% sure you'll regret it. Man is 60, listen to MOP. Dude, look up sunk cost fallacy. Do what you would do, if wedding was next summer. Dump her. Damn, if you are saying dump her, there really is no coming back. I agree with you though. He should expose the crap out of her, so no one can question his judgment of cancelling the wedding. Edit, thank you for all the advice, good and bad. Different perspectives offer some insight as to what I can do, even the ones that didn't help, pointed out what I shouldn't do. All I know is, I have loved this woman and her family, the last thing I want is a nuclear option. There's a lot to consider, I have two weeks at this point to decide what I want to do. I'm heartbroken, I don't want to necessarily think with my emotions alone, rather think this through as I make another of my large life choices. I am currently waiting on the results of a second paternity test just to confirm the results of the first one before I make any kind of jump. If you still have any additional advice to offer, offer away, I'm still catching up on messages, there's so many and I'm taking my time to reflect on each one. And now for the update. I'm sure people would like an update, and a somewhat of a conclusion to this hurdle in my life, but here's what happened. I read everyone's advice, and a lot of it was very helpful, while others, not so much. Some going as far as to consider violence, yeah, not on the table. But for those that did offer genuine advice, thank you. After getting the same result with the second paternity test, I talked to Sarah, and a lot of emotions rolled out. How could an old friend betray me? I wasn't sure if it was or wasn't yours, I'm sorry, how could you not trust me? She was all over the place. After she calmed down, I got a few more answers out of her. Turns out, it wasn't one guy she was sleeping with, rather, a total of three and they wore protection too, but someone got unlucky and knocked her up. At this point, I should have been furious, but somehow, that didn't happen. I had grown numb to the whole situation. So yeah, 
I decided I don't want to go through with this marriage and put everything on hold, I plan to eventually cancel everything. I called my parents and explained what was going on, they were shocked, then her parents, same reaction. I was surprised with how understanding they were to the whole situation. Like I said, they're great people, their reaction only reinforced this. Luckily, the wedding was within driving distance from all attendees, 8 hours being the longest drive, the amount of fallout was minimal, apart from mine and her parents, no one else knows what's really going on, other than the wedding is delayed. Regarding my daughter, I've come to terms that she's not mine, and any feelings I have towards her were built on a lie. It's not too late to start over, she's still young, one year old, she won't remember me. As painful as it is, I can't see my life continuing with her. So to wrap things up, I've moved out for the time being to have so space, my parents said I could stay with them until I can sort things out. Waiting on the results of an STD test, should be coming in tomorrow. I've talked to a lawyer, and she said it's a pretty messy situation. But if we can find out who the father is, it could very much help my case. I don't know any of the possible fathers, but her friend instantly knew two of the names. As for the third, she wasn't sure, but knew someone who might. So, this is where I am, still not sure where things will go and what will happen, but I can only hope for the best. Life sometimes takes a dump on you, but you don't realize it till one person spills the beans. Thanks Reddit for the help. I wish I could tell you I'm looking forward to a happy ending, but it's too soon to be sure of anything. Now for the top comments. You made all of the right decisions bro. You will look back on this and be so thankful that you didn't stay with her. Don't walk, but run away from her, and never accept her back. Save yourself a lot of hurt in the future. Sorry, something like that happened to you, but it's life. Good luck. Agreed. Jesus. Three guys. And she tried deflecting still after the facts came out, and tried to shift it on him. What a freaking mess. Hopefully OP can get a lawyer and contest the paternity, or he'll be on hook for 18 years of child support. Also, I'm certain she knew who was the father. She was just still trying to play stupid. What a horrible person. The petty part of me hopes karma and life will screw her over enough. Op, live your best life. Show her what she lost so she regrets this for the rest of her life. As others have suggested. Go to r slash surviving infidelity and post there. They'll likely help you moving on. Hit the gym. Those post-workout endorphins are awesome. It helped me a lot in that kind of time. Maybe get a dog. My dog got me out of bed most those days when I didn't want to. But I knew he depended on me, and I had to do this for him. Time will do the rest. The fact that she let the words, how could you not trust me, come out of her mouth, when she knew she had been cheating on you with three other men, at least confirms that you made the right decision. The situation sucks, but you don't have to let uncertainty nag at you, or second guess yourself. This was a narrow escape, indeed. Forward is the way. May it be better than this recent past. Yeah, I'm surprised their house didn't catch fire with all the gaslighting she is doing. I love how she's the victim in all of this, I've been betrayed, how can you not trust me? Geez, I wonder why. The friend is the real MVP. Sorry OP, and while this will sound useless at the moment, better to have found out now rather than 10 years from now. You're young, and you absolutely can bounce back from this. Good luck. Now for the next story. Yesterday, my, 33 male, wife's, 34 female, best friend, female, contacted me and told me that her husband and my wife were having an affair, and my three-year-old daughter is actually his daughter. Wife and I have been together since high school. Married for 10 years. I'm really drunk, so pardon me for this gibberish. My wife's best friend Megan and I, work for the same company, different departments. So yesterday, she wanted to meet me after work and told me that she had to tell me something. So, I met her and she immediately broke down and started crying. I tried to console her and asked if something was wrong, and she told me that my wife and her husband were having an affair. According to her, this affair has been going on for years, and she also told me that her husband was my daughter's biological father. She confronted her husband and he didn't deny anything. And when I confronted my wife, she tried to deny everything, but when I told her that Megan told me about it, she broke down and started crying. I really don't know what to do. I mean, everything was a lie right? My little girl Taylor is not mine and my wife blatantly faked everything for years. What do I live for now? I just don't know what to do. Just here for some advice. I'm sorry if this felt like a rant. Now for the top advice. 
Sober up, reach out to family and close friends for support, get a lawyer ASAP and follow their advice to the letter. Sorry you are going through all this. I can't imagine how messed up your world is right now. I'll dare to jump in on the top comment to contradict something another person has said. If you decide to raise Taylor as your daughter, that is completely fine and some would say even commendable. If you decide to not be a part of her life going forward, that is fine. If you decide to wait, and over time realize you can't think or feel about Taylor the same way as before, that is completely okay too. But if you do feel this way, don't wait for years to sever the bond. Just wanted you to know that however you feel, is valid. It's okay to want to stay in her life. It's also okay to decide to leave. It's a blessing she is so young. If you decide to make a radical change, it won't affect her adult life as much. And you have to make that decision plus stick with it. Going back and forth will traumatize the child. You talk to a divorce lawyer, and you ask yourself if it's healthy for you to have your daughter in your life right now. Some people like to keep at least that little bit of stability. Others need space away from all the deception. You're a 33-year-old man with a stable job. This isn't the end of your life. You'll go on to a bigger and better adventures. You just have to find a way through this storm. I just really don't know. I think I really need the space for now. You're 33. You could completely restart your life, education, career, etc. at this point if need be. Lawyer up. Decide if you want to continue to be a part of your daughter's life. Dump that lying wife and get some therapy. Oh, and don't drink too much. Take the high road on this, you're young. I'm in the middle of this process at 33. My girlfriend of 10 years cheated on me last summer, and then it turned out it was a multiple times, sometimes with friends. I had a spinal injury weeks later that ended my physically demanding career. I put myself back to school, started focusing on my physical health, and have been reconnecting with old friends. 2 OP, keep this close to your heart as I did. You are coming out of this with your values and principles intact. You are the bigger person here, don't let somebody else's messed up decisions bring you down. Use your inner strength, keep your good friends close, and focus on self-improvement. Much love to you, I hope you keep in mind that you are valuable and will find love in a better partner. Now for the last story. I, 30 female, just found out my husband, 32 male, might be the father of my best friends, 34 female child, 4 female. What the hell do I do now? Yesterday I received a call from my best friends, Amy, husband, Paul, claiming my husband was the father of her 4-year-old daughter, Kim. He said they got into an argument, and she blurted out that Kim isn't his daughter, and that Kim regularly spends time with her real dad, my husband. He snooped and found out her dad was my husband. I'm so shocked and angry, I don't know what to do. Paul claims he has evidence of their ongoing long-term affair and he would like to meet up with me to show me it. I don't know if I should go. Edit, he wants me to meet him alone at his house, a part of me wishes he'd never told me. I asked him to send me something over text first, because I honestly didn't believe him, and he sent me a blurry video of Amy doing it with someone. She was moaning my husband's name, but you couldn't really tell if it was him in it, because it was so dark. He sent me a few texts between them two, I wish I could unread them. I feel numb and sick. I haven't confronted my husband yet. I don't even have the energy to do that. He noticed something was off when he got home and asked me if I was okay, but I just shrugged it off, and told him I was going to sleep. He decided to work from home today, because he was worried I wasn't feeling well. I wish he hadn't. To make things worse, me and Amy are both pregnant. I'm 5 months and she's 7 months. Paul claims that baby is also my husband's. He said he was planning to sue my husband for all of the money he spent raising his child, and Amy was planning to put him on child support. He said he was warning me in advance so I could apply before her. They're going to get a divorce. I just can't believe he would do this. I just keep hoping Paul will text me saying it was all a joke. Amy keeps texting me telling me she's sorry, I've ignored her so far, but I want to rage at her. I don't know what I'm going to do if we get a divorce. I don't think I can raise my baby alone. I feel dumb for posting this, but I have no idea what I should do. Shall I just pretend I don't know? Edit. No. She never showed me proof, and no I haven't spoken to my husband yet, I will soon. I don't know if I believe her, I just added the info because I was getting a lot of messages to update. Now for the top advice before the little update. 1. Breathe. Deep deep breath. 2. Save everything you have that could be considered evidence. Consider meeting with the husband, 
but ask him not to talk to your husband yet. 3. Don't confront your husband yet. Discuss with a lawyer before you do anything. Find out what your options are. But, consider that the affair partner is likely going to tell him you know, sooner rather than later, so do number 3 and number 4 now, like right now. 4. Research and document what you have in bank accounts and assets. If he knows you know, he may start moving slash hiding things. Don't take anything, just assess. 5. Find a therapist. This isn't going to be easy, you'll need support. 6. Once you have your ducks in a row, decide next steps. This sucks OP, but it's real, so you need to act. If not for you, for your baby. I'm so sorry. So, if Amy already knows Paul told you, she didn't let your husband know the cat's out of the bag. Did Amy admit that the child is your husband's, and that she was indeed having an affair with your husband, or is she only apologizing because her husband is involving you in their divorce? I'm not sure how your husband could not know that Paul has told you along with Amy in that case. She just keeps texting me stuff like, I'm so sorry, please answer the phone, can we talk about it, please don't be angry, forgive me please, I can explain. She probably tipped him off already. That's why he stayed home. You need to gather evidence and prepare for the worst. And now for the little update. I spoke to Amy. Turns out my husband isn't the person she's been having an affair with. When she told Paul, he just assumed it had to be my husband because of the name. She said he went berserk, and she was too scared to correct him. Her and Kim are safe at her mother's house. I told her about him wanting me to come to their house, and she warned me not to do so. And that's it for this video guys, if you have thoughts to share, leave a comment below. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe if you like this content. I'll catch you in the next one. Good day everyone.